Hey guys, PC Outcast here. Today we're taking a look or doing a quick review of uh, Cartel Tycoon. This game came out on March 18th and it is basically, you are doing a business simulation in sort of a Columbia-esque in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, Columbia-esque uh, drug cartel. So you have the option to sell uh, several different uh, things. You can do uh, opium, uh, dried cannabis, cocaine, and meth. And each one requires different things. You can actually, apparently, you can actually make a chicken business too. Chicken makes about a third as much as opium, which is the cheapest of all the drugs. So, uh, but apparently you can't actually turn a profit selling nothing but chicken. Totally legally. <laughs> I haven't tried that out. I've been mainly focused on, you know, playing all the drug, drug lord stuff. Um, so I have so far a opium thing going on here. So I'm basically growing opium here and packaging it up. Also growing vegetables and packaging the opium in crates of vegetables and then shipping them off in by road over here. Uh, you have three different points of uh of sale so you can either sell at a checkpoint like this on a road you can sell on a airport like this or you can sell through a seaport like that so the airport can sell drugs directly you don't have to package them into um you don't have to package them into uh crates of, of vegetables or whatever uh but it has the lowest throughput uh, seaport is in between and the road connection gives you the highest throughput so you can sell a massive amount of stuff through this i i'm currently running basically actually i'm running beyond max all these yellow uh start button things means i have them paused because i'm i have not i have nowhere to put all the dirty money i can't launder it fast enough that is uh, probably my first complaint is money laundering opportunities are very difficult um, the problem one of the problems is like this is my home base here which is a hotel it can only store a maximum of 65,000 dirty money so you have to move the stuff from over here which is currently 59 and a half thousand I can store up to 500,000 Got 59,500 sitting here, ready to be brought in town. Uh, but the trucks, just like literally just two minutes before I started recording this, I had 65,000. And so it wasn't moving anything from the checkpoint to my hotel. Um, this really, to be balanced, this needs to be raised. And you also need to be able to move that, that money to other cities more efficiently than is currently available in this early access version because like for example in this city i can only build three buildings so i have a hotel which is my home base i've got a research center which un allows you to like unlock better farms and bigger warehouses and all that kind of thing uh, and i have a casino which is the only thing in this town that's able to convert dirty money into legal money and it takes uh, seven days to uh, convert $12,600 worth, okay? Meanwhile, I'm earning, you know, $360,000 a month, right? And this, this thing can only convert about uh, less than 50,000 of that. So I have to move it out of the city. So I eventually took over this city and now I've got, a another casino with its maximum it's already beyond maximum for stored storing cash and i have a bank which can convert thirty thousand every nine days so that's great but moving the money from here to here is a pain in the ass i have trucks sitting here i got all four trucks that's part of the reason why they're not moving it from here because they're they move it from here to here and then they sometimes just sit here for a while 
and then finally go up and grab oh that's saving uh i don't know why i think it saves automatically every five or ten minutes um yeah so they'll carry some down here and then they'll go back up here and wait and wait and wait and then go and bring it from here to here and fill this completely up and then wait and wait and wait. i don't know why there's such a long delay so i actually hired this guy well i specifically hired him because he has like a fairly high power rating and i was going to use him to uh to take out one of these other cities try and expand my territory but i ended up running him just having him run money back and forth because he's faster than the, than the trucks that are over here which is their job which is kind of weird and yeah so one option i could i was thinking i could maybe do is basically have a guy like this that just is constantly funneling money between from uh, from here to the city and just dump it right into the city and then have and then i would have to use another slot another one of these building slots so the city can have four so i have to use one of the slots for another hotel and then that hotel's trucks can move it between the other uh, buildings that are doing uh, the laundering. Yeah, I mean that that's an option. That unfortunately sucks because you're going to end up with less and less. You're going to end up with less and less um, places to to actually launder it. You need to waste one of the slots that could be a laundering business for basically just a warehouse that moves cash around. Which is a bit of a, a bit annoying. Now you can build residences out of town, but their their range is not big enough. Like I I only have the lowest level one. The other ones do have a slightly better range, but like see I can only uh, like that's the closest to town I can put it, and it only covers the casino. I, I don't I don't believe it can move it to any of these other buildings. Like they have to be highlighted for it, for it to be able to move them move the cash there. So yeah that's anyway the game yeah the game is fine it's really really difficult to get started the tutorial is not good at all and oh hang on a second i should just have music going so you can actually hear with the music i turned it off because i eventually got tired of it there you go that actually might be a bit too loud there you go so the music's not too bad. Um, I ended up eventually turning it off and just having some um, some relaxing Spanish instrumental in the background. Um, but yeah, so the tutorial, there isn't really a tutorial. There's like a, a story campaign and it's kind of a glorified tutorial that does not really tell you much of anything. <laughs> then you also have like a, like an encyclopedia thing here, which ex describes some of some of the game's processes, but it's very limited. So the game needs a lot of work to make it more new user friendly. And then unfortunately, l mid to late game, I mean, I would say I'm barely even into the mid game here. Um, the logistics becomes a nightmare. It's there's so much micromanagement that, um, yeah, I, I'll, I, mean, I guess ultimately all I can say is I can't recommend the game in its current state. Now, the developers have said that next week they're going to release a whole bunch of balance uh, changes and quality of life stuff, which would be really nice. Like one of the quality of life things would be super nice is if you run out of money, uh, these buildings will shut down and then if you deliver more money to it, they won't automatically restart. So it'd be nice if they would just automatically restart when you uh, when you deliver more money to them. That would save you a little bit of time. And yeah, the the money movement system has got to be drastically improved. And the reason I'm actually making this video now instead of just you know carrying on and building my trying to build my empire further is. I just ran across a bug that is not very good. I've got tons of money all over the place, but a journalist, I'm trying to bribe a journalist to not run a nasty story about my, uh, you know, questionable business activities. And I've got tons of money, but she won't take any of it. 
this is I've, I've had to do this three or four times basically every time you want to research something that's fairly expensive she's like oh you're spending a lot of money on research why would you need to research things i mean you just have a small farm business right <laughs> or whatever so she's she's digging dirt she wants money i've i've already paid her like probably three hundred thousand dollars and every time it worked fine until now now she won't take the money and i have no there's no she's not she isn't actually on the map so she has to just come and take the money from you but she's not anywhere on the map i can't it says bring the money to her but she's nowhere you can't bring the money to her she would normally just every other time she just took the money straight out of this straight out of the hotel and as you can see i have some i mean i'm a minute like i said a minute ago i had sixty-five thousand in here now i've got twenty-seven thousand, but she's still not taking any of it so that means i'm going to get a bad report in the newspaper which sucks it's going to raise my terror level people are going to hate me and uh one of the things is when you get up to this level you get a star and then the dea is looking at you so they start uh investigating your border activity and sometimes confiscating things and you cannot right now in the game remove do anything to remove a star once you have it so if you let this terror thing go up you will eventually have all kinds of trouble with the law and you can't stop them so yeah like i said as it is i can't recommend the game i did get it for free the the key was provided to me by the publisher so if you i mean this is not really a glowing uh review so i guess you probably don't aren't going to worry about me being uh, biased but if you think i'm not being harsh enough because i got the free key then that's that's fine all right guys that is cartel tycoon i will probably just put it away for right now and check it out see see what they do in a week if they do improve it drastically i'll maybe do another little video if they don't improve it that much it'll get, be getting removed off my computer and replaced with something else thank you very much take care guys